Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues again, going deep into the makeup that will take place. The NWC All-Star Classic in Cleveland, Ohio, hosted by the Wrestlers and Business Network and presented by the Brewer Garrett Company. One of the two guys at 84 pounds joining me now, Ohio State sensation, the NCAA champ, Miles Martin. Miles, how are you? I'm doing well, doing really well. Let's talk about Sorry. it, man. Somebody had to break the news to you. They wanted you at this event for a variety of reasons. Obviously, a returning NCAA champ, you get the honors. Who told you about the opportunity? Um, I think early on they emailed Tom Ryan, and a lot of the wrestlers didn't know about the match. And uh, Tom was discussing it because I know they asked, that, uh, they asked if Bo, Nate, and Kyle would wrestle. And Bo just came off an injury ju just as Nate and Kyle was still competing internationally and they also asked if i was wanted to wrestle and uh i was excited for it i found out they said i would possibly wrestle gabe dean i wasn't sure at the time and i was like yeah for sure like i would definitely want to do it and then uh about a couple like a couple weeks ago i was talking to tom about it and that's they kind of discussed it as the coaches and then talked about it with me and i was like i'm excited i want to do it i don't see why not you know i mean what so. better way to kick off a brand new season this one time, November 5th, Wolstein Center, campus of Cleveland State, two-time NCAA champ Gabe Dean of Cornell, returning NCAA champ Miles Martin of Ohio State, 84 pounds. We're going to light it up. Dean, a senior, a three-time All-American, stands incumbent champ at 84, while Martin, you, sir, an NCAA champion just last year as a true freshman at 174. You're going to move up. How do you feel about moving up to the higher weight class? Um, it's definitely going to be an adjustment for me. Guys are going to be a little bit bigger, and um, I've been trying to get my weight up right now as far as lifting and just kind of eating a good amount, but healthy. And it's going to be an adjustment. I wrestle with Kyle and a lot of the bigger guys a lot, so they're kind of giving me that look right now, but it's definitely going to be a little bit different. Historically, you look at a match like this, it's not often we get that type of match this early on in the season. So... Um, First of all, we're excited about it here at Takedown. I know the guys at Track Wrestling that will be streaming it are excited because you know people are going to tune in to watch this bad boy. But talk to us about your history with with uh, uh, Gabe Dean. You guys have actually uh, touched gloves, as it were, once before, right? Um, I've never wrestled him in a match. So, But I was uh, I was in the Fila Junior, <clears throat> his Fila Junior bracket, and this is when he made the world team. But I didn't get a chance to wrestle him at the tournament. I wrestled a few other guys, and I lost early on, and I wasn't able to make it. But I qualified for uh, the junior trials, and I still didn't get a chance to wrestle him. And that's when he wrestled. That's when he. Uh, that's when he made the team. And then they had a. Uh, so they had the junior world team camp here at Ohio State, and I was lucky to be here for that and to work out with the team before they left. And I was able to get a match in with them. I mean, I didn't wrestle how I wanted to wrestle. I just got off of. Uh, wrestling at Fargo, but gave him my best, I don't know, just kind of wrestled with him, and then he ended up beating me pretty bad. He was a little bit bigger than me at the time, so I feel like it'll be a little bit different this time, especially with me, I don't know, kind of growing into my body and lifting and getting a little bit bigger, so I'm excited. I mean, dude, you look huge, and I've talked to Coach Tom Ryan about you. He is absolutely pleased with your your growth and your abilities. Uh, let's talk about last year, man. You went in to last season, the number one, uh, number 11 seed. You avenged three in-season defeats to Penn State's Bo Nickel to win the 74-pound title with that 11-9 decision. What was that moment like for you? I think a lot of us in media row were in tears, but what was it like for you? Um, it was very cool. Bo and I had a... Uh... A little bit of history before college. I wrestled him um, when I was trying to make the cadet world team. Uh, I went to Fila Cadets, and he he always just had the upper hand on me. He beat me when I was a little kid, and it was just like this guy was always kind of in the back of my mind. And then when I saw that he'd be wrestling 174, and then I pulled my red shirt, and I just knew he was the guy to beat at the time at 174 because he was pretty much beating everyone. He was ranked number one in the country. So I'm sitting like, and I want to win a national title, and I'm telling myself like. Or when a national title, you got to beat this guy. So I lost a few matches early on, and then I started to make adjustments. I started to figure out what I was doing wrong and, like, the mental side of things. I feel like my wrestling was just there. It's just mentally I wasn't there. So I made some adjustments for the finals match, and then it came out on top, and it was just – it felt really, really good. And I'm sure you, you guys saw it on my face when I celebrated and stuff. But 
it was it was really cool. So it was nice to beat them, get a little bit of revenge. But doing it at Madison Square Garden in New York City, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's cool too. Yeah, it's really, really cool. You look at everybody that's won in that building over the years, some of the great fighters, the 72 fight, Ollie Frazier. I mean, you got to weigh in on that scale, right? I mean, do you remember that moment in the Madison Square Garden Theater? Yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool, it was wasn't cool. it? It was really cool. Oh, man, I just love that. We, uh, <clears throat> we uh, So they, they called us up, we checked our weight, and like some of the guys were flexing on the scale, and I, I, I just wanted to flex just to kind of do it, and it, it was pretty cool. <laughs> This is like an older scale. It was cool. I I felt so special being able to stand up there in my tux, just watching you guys win. Sure, it was theatrical, but at the end of the day, you know, we did something special for you guys in New mm -hmm. York City, and you were able to crown it all with the, with a great championship. All right, so I got to ask you, man. There's something about New Jersey and New Jersey wrestlers, and then we take it one step further. You ended up wrestling at McDonough in Owings Hills, Maryland. So we look back at those mm -hmm. results from the NCAAs. We look at the history over the last five to 10 years. We look at the results for the Olympics. There's something going on in New Jersey and something going on in Maryland. We're seeing positive remarks and positive results from both states. What is it? Um, I think it's just the cultural. I think Maryland, uh, Jersey, just the East Coast, is, has always been pretty good at wrestling. And they're not, like, I guess their, their motive behind wrestling is a little bit different than other states. They want to learn more. They want to expand their knowledge of wrestling. And I guess some of the guys that, like, some of the top recruits, some of the elite guys from Jersey and Maryland, they put themselves in positions where they're going to get better. Like, I don't know, Ashnall, he put himself in a position. He's still, I mean, he's still in Jersey. He's with Coach Pollard and the other coaches, Goodale. And he just knows what makes him good. And I guess, like, just surrounding yourself with some of the best people. And Kyle talks a lot about Travell. And uh, Brandon Slay and Zadik and all those guys just kind of pushing him to be the best person, not just like wrestling, but just best person in life. And I look up to Kyle a lot, and I'm sure he knows it. And even in the practice room, I just watch him and see how he carries himself. And I want to carry myself like that. And then me doing that, it kind of inspires other kids in Jersey, other kids in Maryland. And uh, everywhere you go, it just inspires people to just kind of want to be a better person when they look up to their their idols and stuff. So I don't, I'm, I don't know. I just Jer Jersey's always had it. Maryland's always had it. It's, we're just continuing what we're the generation, I guess. We're just slowly pushing out better guys like Kurt Henry. He just, uh, he just won a cadet world title, which is awesome. Amazing. Cause he was supposed to, he was supposed to come to McDonough as well. So I don't know. Tell me what the end of the season looked like for Ohio state. You guys, uh, pick up a big 10 title do you pick up an ncaa championship i mean are you guys gunning for it as hard as i think you are this year yeah yeah i feel like we are we have a young team um we're going to be really good a lot of the guys are ranked in the country which usually doesn't mean much right now but i just feel like we're ready our uh, all summer we've been working out we haven't been doing too much a lot of on your own and like rtc workouts but it's like i feel like our team has made so many jumps whether it's just kind of being close together and uh, the goal is always to win a national title and a Big Ten title. So we're always shooting for that. We're always wanting to compete with Penn State, Iowa, um, Oklahoma State, all those Minnesota, all those really top tier teams. So yeah, we're always gunning for a national title. And I feel like this year could could be it. I mean, we're always going to try. So it's not going to. It's not. It's not like one year we're just going to let up and then hopefully we'll go for it next year. No, we're always it's like we're always going for it. So I'm excited. Tickets start at 15 bucks for GA, $100 preferred seating. Group options are available at the Wolstein Center. You can go to the box office for sure. Give them a call at 844-407-2279. Go allstarclassic.com online. Or how about this? Visit the Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Marts for tickets as well. Streaming on trackwrestling.com. Our guest to uh, uh, review, if you will, or preview better word preview the 2016 nwca all-star classic presented by the brewer garrett company has been 184 pound star to be miles martin when i say star to be he's moving up from 74 that's 10 extra bonus pounds we get to see at the wallstein center are you excited miles yeah i'm excited it's gonna be fun dude take off Ready your hat let it. everybody see you come on let's let's put a little light on your face take there he is there he is <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, here I am. <laughs> Miles Martin. Thank you so much for taking the time. Nike Hot Seat special guest today. Thank you so much, Miles. No problem. <laughs>